first off, I'd like to start off with just uh, congratulating Coach Foster and, and Chattanooga on a great season. Uh, they uh, they do a great job uh, with that program, and uh, we we knew it was going to be a, a tough ball game throughout. Uh, we were able to pull away there toward towards the end, but you know it was never a game that I felt real comfortable. Uh, especially with the way they shoot the three. But, you know, really, really pleased. Uh, looking forward to have, have, have the opportunity to play on Monday night and, you know, see if, uh, you know, what, what we can do. Thanks, Coach. Questions for the UofL student athletes? Go on the back and then come up to. Asia, you hit a. Fairly good game out there today. It just your teammates were really finding in some great spots, weren't they? They did, yes. Um, Rai, she had a great game. She had ten assists, and they just did a great job of finding me on the court. And also, Coach Walls, he caught a few plays for me as well, and I was able to knock the shot down. Jazz, you've had maybe. Two of your best games this year against the same team, Chattanooga. Would you like to play them, you know, maybe four or five times next year? <laughs> <laughs> Chattanooga's a real good team. Um, I just was doing what Coach asked me to do all the time, and it was just so happy I had a good game. If, uh, if all three players would, would comment about this, y'all had uh, y'all shot 60% from the field, and you had, if I can get my stat sheet up here, I think 20, hold on. 28. 28 assists. 28 assists on 36 baskets yes. in an NCAA game. Yes. That's hard to do. Talk about that. Was just everybody sharing the ball, getting the ball, where you're, what was it today? Asia first, please. Well, I think it starts in practice. Um, each day we have to get up a certain amount of shots and that's that's where it starts you know it doesn't start in the game it starts in practice you know and coach Wall says you can't just come in the gym and just shoot during practice you have to get up more shots than that and it definitely showed you know our bench how many points did they have we had what 23 bench points I think yeah. or something like that and that was really good so our hard work is paying off Maisha um, just to go off with Asia just said, um, when we pass the ball, we're a great team. When we get out in transition, we're a great team. And that's what we were able to do by getting rebounds and just uh, pushing the ball up the court and running. Um, yeah, we're just a great uh, transition team. So that helped a lot. Jasmine? Um, you know, just to piggyback off what they said, um, when we passed the ball, we passed the ball extremely well tonight and we were sh um, sharing it well. And when coach says don't don't stand around and watch move when you don't have the basketball, we got easy layups and passes was great. More questions for the Louisville student athletes right here in the front. Chad, when you said you were just doing what coach always asked you to do, what does he ask you to do all the time and how hard is it to, to over the course of a full season to kind of keep doing that all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Name them all. <laughs> well, he always asked me to go hard and always asked me to go hard, be a player, don't be a robot. And that's what I did tonight. And him telling me that every day, it gets stuck in my head so I can't lose it. <laughs> so just if I actually listen to him like I did tonight, good things happen. Thanks, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Asia, when Jazz is doing those things, how much different does it make you all as a team because of her athleticism and opening things up for the rest of you? It makes us a huge different team because she can do more than just shoot. She could crash. She could defend. She's getting better at that, too. And, um, you know, she's just a great player, and she's finally showing that. We believe in her since day one. And like she said, during practice, Coach Wall stays onto her at all times because he knows what she can do for us. So, and that's what she did. <laughs> this question is uh, for, for the uh, uh, for Maisha and uh, y'all had. Uh, points in the paint were 46 points in the paint and their coach says well if you give up the 
points in the paint, you sacrifice the outside, vice versa. They had seven blocks against you the first time, only had one tonight. Was that the result of you just running your offense? What was it? No. no. Um, in practice, leading up to uh, this game, we knew that she had seven blocks against us, so we were worried about that. So it's basically just going up strong every time and not really being afraid, but just knowing she's there because she's capable of blocking shots. She leads the country in block shots. So we knew that going into the game, and we just had to go up strong and finish through contact, and we did that today with 46 points in the paint. Time for one or two more. Hi, I'm with thecrunchzone.com. Um, this is for anybody in particular. Uh, 14 players got some minutes today. Was fatigue any any issue today looking ahead to Monday? Maybe minutes con uh, concern? Maisha, please. Okay. <laughs> um, no, for our team? I mean, everyone's capable of playing. So I think Coach Balls, he has a game plan and just getting everyone in because you never know who you're going to need in this tournament. So just getting them ready for any game, like any moment. So just having all these different players and trying to find the right ones to be out there so we could win the game. I think that was uh, like the biggest thing, Coach Balls and, and the coaching staff having a game plan and knowing that who needs to step in at the game to have the right five out on the court. Last question. This is for Maisha as well. Um, they started off really, really hot from three, and they're just leading you guys by one point. And I think you guys had like a 13-0 run there in the first quarter. Were you starting to get worried uh, the way the game was starting, or what kind of caused that regroup? Um, no. Like we said, they're a great team. So every team's going to have a run. It's just how you how you react to it. And if we want to make a run in the NCAA tournament, we have to know that teams are going to make runs, but it's how we react to those runs. So we held our composure. Um, our Mad Dog was really working. We were playing aggressive, so we were able to get stops in that, and that led us to um, getting transition buckets. All right. Ladies, thanks so much for your time. Thank, thank, thank you. you. And now to the floor for questions for Coach Walls. Coach, thanks. yes. Congratulations on the win. What was Thank the you. difference in Chattanooga this time as opposed to when you played them last time? What did they present uh, uh, one game versus this one? Well, um, we knew that that they that they were coming out. They were very patient. Uh, we were trying to get the game a little a little bit faster. Uh, so even at the start, I. I when they were scoring, I felt that it was still a good tempo. Like, we wanted to get up more shots. We wanted to try to get it to be a little faster game. So with doing that, you're going to give up some easy baskets. And I thought we got the tempo where we wanted it. Uh, to score 82 points on that ball club is not easy. It's not easy to do. Um, you know, I told him before the game started in the locker room, I thought, you know, it, it was probably going to be a 55 to 60 shot game for us. And it ended up being 59. And normally, you know, we're trying to get into a game where we're getting 70 in the possessions. So we knew they were going to be very patient. But I thought we did a really good job defensively um, on them. But give them credit because they did shoot the ball well from the three-point line, which caused some problems. Jeff, I'll ask you the same questions I asked the players about the 28 assists on 36 baskets. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. We uh, we passed the ball well and we made open shots. I mean, that's it's no secret. Uh, you know, we found each other open for wide open looks, and then we finished them. And that's what you have to do. If you want to continue to advance, you've got to be able to make open shots. And, you know, it's, it's not the contested shots, the tough ones. It's the open ones that you have to make. And we did that tonight. I, I was very pleased with how unselfish we were with the ball, uh, how quickly we moved it at times, and we're willing to make the extra pass. Jeff, how close is Jasmine, or was that to being what you want from Jasmine? And when she is on like that, how different does it make your team? No, Jazz, you know, her athleticism, her her ability to, to do things with the basketball uh, is one of the reasons we had recruited her. You know, she's, she's young. She has a lot to learn still. Uh, but she's going to continue to get better. And for us to continue to, to move on, we're going to have to have – Jazz, Kylie, Sierra, somebody, Sam Fearing, players come off the bench and give us some numbers. 
and that's what ha- that's what happened tonight. Because you know, I feel pretty confident right now with what we're going to get from Maisha and Asia every night. I thought Mar- 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 Mariah played well tonight, which she's struggled the past month. But ten assists, two uh, turnovers. She hit. She goes two or three from the three point line, which was encouraging to see. So we're going to continue to need solid bench play. Jeff, what, what kind of read have you had on this team over the course of the season? Have the bumps been where and what you thought they would be? Well, it's you know it's been a it, it's been a good year. I mean, we're sitting here twenty eight and seven. Um, you know, have, have kind of stay stayed around the top ten, top twelve the in, entire year. But we've had some ball games that you know we're right there. NC State here at home goes to overtime. We lose. It's a five point game at Florida State. You know, and and, and we lose. You know, Duke. A, a three-point game. So we've had a lot of Mar- Maryland here at home is a six-point game. Like we've had a lot of ball games that we're right there that we just have to be be able to close out, and that's going to be the the, the test from from here on out. Because no no matter who we play on Monday night, it's it, I, I expect it to be a great basketball game and one that's going to go down to the wire. Um, you know when you, when you're playing for a chance to go to the Sweet 16. You know, nobody's going to go out there and not give a 100% effort. So, you know, I'm just really going to be excited about how hard we come out and play because you have to win every 50-50 ball. You know, if, if you want to move on, you've got to dive on the floor. You've got to be the one who comes up with the 50-50 balls. And I actually thought Chatt- Chattanooga started the game doing that. Um, one of the highlights to me on, on Chattanooga was the end of the first half. And I pointed it out to my players when they took the shot and their two kids went up after that offensive rebound and knocked each other on the floor. I mean, they went after the ball. And I used that. I pointed that out to our kids. That's how we have to go after it. You know, and I thought we did that in the second half. Uh, Jeff, your assist to turnover ratio obviously was great. The number of points you got off of your assist obviously great. But to have those kind of numbers off of those kind of assists, two things have to happen. Your players have to be able to see that they have players open to get the ball to and do it quickly. Are you surprised that that happened today? And is that the type of effort you'll probably need in the next game coming up? Oh yeah, we're going to need that same effort on Monday night, and you know I'm not I'm not really surprised. Uh, we've actually been playing much better the past month. Uh, shooting percentage has has been up. Uh, we we we've been getting the ball moving instead of holding it and occupying the ball. We're getting it out of our hands quicker. So now your your teammates open, or we're making somebody fly at us. So now when we put the ball on the ground, it's a one-two pull up, and it's an open shot. Um, you know, the longer you hold the ball, the worse things that are going to happen. So we we have been preaching to them, get it moving, get it moving, and we we had a week to work on it. You know, that two week break between. ACC tournament in the NCAA tournament, we had a solid week to work on half court execution, transition game, which is really, it, it paid off for us today. Jeff, uh, whoever you play in the next round, I know you don't get a choice, but you've got history. Uh, in the next round last year, you know, uh, uh, DePaul knocked you off, and then the year before, uh, Dayton. Uh, will you use that kind of as any kind of a, hey, look, you know, this is the time. You know, the last couple of years, this has been a bugaboo for us. Uh, our, our kids know. I mean, you know, last year was a second-round game. The year, the year before that was a Sweet 16 game. It, at this point in time, everybody you play is good. And it's new teams. It's a new year. You know, our ones that got beat last year by, by DePaul, you know, it, it, it hurt. And they understand that, but you can't look back and worry about that and think, oh, my gosh, I don't want that to happen again. You've got to just, just go out and play and play as hard as you can for 40 minutes and see what happens. You know, our, our kids are in a good place right now. They played, they played, they've competed today, which I was really excited about. And we've just got to continue, continue to get better. Everyone was kind of doing something different tonight. You had Asia knocking in down from down from outside. You had Maisha on the boards, Mariah with the assists, Jasmine in transition. Are those the strengths that you think that you should be playing to you from now on, or is there something else that you think this team can bring out? No, that's what we have to do. I, I thought everybody played to their strength. I saw I thought Kylie did some good things for us. Kylie can run can run the floor. She catches it in transition. She's able to finish. Uh, just constantly working on her, getting more aggressive and more physical. Uh, I thought Sam Fearing did some good things for us too. 
you know, it was a team effort. And then when you're getting a team like Chattanooga that, that, that's going four guards a lot, you know, that's why we had to go with four guards. And I thought Brianna Jackson being back was a big help for us. It gave us more depth which is what we need. She ends up with five assists and one uh, a turnover, six boards. So I was really pleased with what she was able to bring. I thought Ta uh, Taylor Johnson gave us nine solid minutes. So we have to ha have that play from our team. One or two more. Uh, Dalton Ray, Louisville Cardinal. Between Tennessee and Dayton, who's one player you know you'll have to stop going into the next round? Oh, all of them. Both teams have very talented uh, uh, players. I mean, it's uh, – it, it, it's a group of kids that, that play hard, that know how to play. Uh, so it's you know it's going to be a challenge, uh, but one we're excited about because it's all it's always nice to have the opportunity to play the next ball game. Last question. Jeff, you mentioned Mariah earlier. Obviously, you aren't going to argue with an assist and two turnovers, but are you comfortable that she's in a place mentally where when she needs to look for her shot, she will? Yeah, I am. I think her making those two shots today were, were, were a big relief for her. You know, seeing, seeing the ball go in what was really important. Uh, I thought today, I, I thought she really did a nice job. She, she didn't force up any shots, and she was able to find her teammates uh, uh, open. And that, that's what we, we need. Now, it might present itself on Monday that she has to take more shots. But I thought today she didn't force anything and did a great job of finding her teammates. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you. And I'd like to thank our media that made the trip back from Indianapolis. Thank you very much. And have a safe trip back up tomorrow.